friends, welcome back. Thanks so much for watching. The week of Amazon is apparently what it is here on my YouTube channel because on Monday I posted a Amazon fashion haul over 30 plus items. I'll put the thumbnail right here on the screen and I will also link it in the description bar below. Um, I also got up an Amazon beauty video this week and now we're talking Amazon home with a little bit of baby because there's not enough stuff to make a video and that will all be at the very end if you don't want to see the baby stuff. But everything I am talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys. I will also put the number on the screen that corresponds with it down in the description bar. It's so like the first item you see will be labeled number one on screen and then also number one in the description bar. So you can easily find things you want based on the numbers because that just seemed to be a really easy way for you guys to shop the fashion pieces. And I will also have like any color information down there. It's all going to be in the description bar. If you're new here, make sure to go below and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the fam. Also make sure you're following me on Instagram, like to know it, and my TikTok because I share tons and tons and tons of Amazon stuff there as well on a daily basis. But for today, we have a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and get started. The first piece is this stand-up desk and you can see it is just covered in stuff. And this is my filming setup. I feel so good to finally have something to put all my stuff on, to put my laptop on, my cup, my phone and keep stuff so I'm not having to one sit on the floor or like constantly reach beside me. But it just feels good to have a place to put everything while I am filming because I don't realize like how much I was like holding stuff and you know needing a place to put things until I was actually like had this in my hands. So this is kind of like a teacher's desk, a stand-up desk if you will. Very easy to put together. My husband put it together in like 10 minutes. It retails for $80 and has over 4,000 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So very good quality. So far I've only had it for a couple days but very impressed with it and super super happy with just how easy it moves and kind of it's very much so served its purpose for me. Next up this acrylic memo tablet. Does this do anything for you? Can you see anything of part of this? No you can't. But this is the actual tablet and it also comes with a stand and marker. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys as far as size goes. So this is actually kind of like a little to-do list. What I use it for is things that I don't want to forget to tell Sam or kind of like a honey-do list, if you will, because throughout the day, you guys, my brain is fried since having a baby. So I will write it down on there. And when he gets home, he can kind of like see the random stuff, the random thoughts that I've come up with throughout the day, all written down right here, but it still looks nice. It looks very pretty. It did come with a white marker and you can see it fairly well, but I do wish it was a little bit more visible. You can definitely get some like brighter colored markers if you wish, but I think this is a really cool, just like little piece of home decor that also kind of works as like a whiteboard, but it's not an ugly whiteboard for your house. So I did get that again, just for like a honeydew list for Sam for when he comes home from work, nine times out of 10, it is just seriously random thoughts. Remind me to tell you a story about this. What are we having for dinner? Like it's so random, but I love it so much. It retails for $40 and has over 600 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So very good quality, but again, something I've only had for about a week at this point, but I've used it every single day. I had to like clear off my chicken scratch just for this video. <laughs> Talk about random, seriously, random, but I love these. These are acrylic and gold scissors from Amazon. They are very expensive. They're $26, but they have over 265 star reviews across the board. Everyone says the same thing about these that I love. These are some of the best scissors I've ever used in the fact I hid these from Sam. They are hidden. He is not allowed to use them because he will use one pair of scissors that are intended for something for like everything. And no, these are the sharpest, nicest scissors I've ever used. And so I hid them from him and only I can use them. So they are expensive, but very, very good. Like if you need a pair of very good scissors, if you use them a lot, completely recommend. So random, but totally recommend them. Lots of office supplies, I guess, in this video. These sticky notes. So this is the first time I've ever purchased translucent sticky notes and I adore these so much. I will never go back to regular sticky notes for a couple reasons. One, these actually stick to the surface completely. So once you pull it off, like part of the sticky note doesn't like stick up and it also actually stays stuck down. So it is amazing. The only thing is you have to use a Sharpie for these, but I got this huge pack on Amazon. It does retail for $18, but these are a lot of sticky notes. It's 600 total sheets, 50 sheets per pad with 12 pads in here. So that is a lot of sticky notes, but $18 on Amazon and over 750 four and a half star reviews. So very good. And if you use a lot of sticky notes, like I do again, like I'm just, my brain is just not there and I'm using a lot of them for reminders and stuff. You use a lot of them. Those are the best. They're going to stay stuck all day. This cup 
I know y'all are sick of seeing me buy them. My husband's sick of them arriving at home. But Simple Modern Cups, I've seen these all over Amazon and wow, do I love this one. One, because it fits in a cup holder very easily. So it's the reduced water bottles that do fit in my cup holders, but not my husband's cup holders in his car. So this actually fits in both of our car cup holders and I have the 24 ounce and he has the 16 ounce. His is really cool. It has like trees on it. So it looks a little bit more manly. And I have the white marble. This one keeps your drink cold for a very long time. Retails for $20 and has over 50,000 five-star reviews on Amazon. So highly rated, very good. That's why me and my husband both have them. And you know, he talks all this junk about not liking cups, but every time I find a good one, he orders one too. So I would just like to throw that out there. This one made me laugh because it literally is labeled on Amazon as a flight attendant gift idea. And I just thought that is, that is very niche based. But this is actually one of the coolest things I've probably purchased on Amazon in a very long time. If you travel a lot, you need this. So it basically slides over the back of your, I'll actually just put a little picture up right here. It slides over the back of your suitcase and these are cup holders, which is so cool. You can also completely open it up like this if you don't want to slide it. And then on this side, it actually has a spot for your like charging, whether it be like your portable charger or charging cords, anything like that are going to fit on this side. So it just latches on top of your suitcase. And I think that's so cool. If you are constantly like I am, I cannot fly without a water bottle in my hand and you have to get those after you go through security and usually they're huge. So this is just really nice to have, especially again, if you have a flight attendant to buy a gift for, or if you travel a lot, I did get the leopard print and I just love this. We do have some potential travels coming up later this fall that I would need to fly for and I will a thousand percent be taking that. But regardless, I would probably take it anywhere that we have a suitcase because I'm that person who, I mean, I just always need my water. That retails for $16 and has over 2,500 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So the next two products are actually just two separate things that I have styled together. So I have these like dried bunny tails, like pompous grass, and it's kind of labeled funny on Amazon. And I have them stuck down in a ceramic vase, like three set, and I absolutely love the way this looks. Now the little bunny tails, you definitely need to put them out in the sun when they come in. It actually says that on the packaging. And I noticed a huge difference in just how fluffy they looked. After I sat them outside for about an hour, hour, and a half and I have to say I'm also very impressed my cats have not messed with these not once and I was a little nervous about that whether they were gonna have a scent or just look like cat toys and my cats mess with everything like all the everything that's on our coffee table they mess with and these they just completely ignore so that's been a really good bonus that the cats aren't interested in it the dried bunny tails retail for $19 and have over 1900 four and a half star reviews on Amazon and there is a lot in that one little pack like especially when you put it out in the sun they just get bigger and bigger and they open up to be a lot. So I know it is a little bit more expensive for that, but nice, especially that the cats don't mess with it and there's a lot in the packaging. And the set of like three vases retails for $30 and has over 10,000 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. Very good quality, look really good in the home and you can definitely like split them up or use them all together no matter what. You can either split them up or use them all together. This I feel like I was late to the party on. This is an instant pot like steamer slash frother. I'm never able to say that word the first try. So I have have one of those little handheld frothers that I like from Amazon. It's like $13 or something, but that one does not make your steam milk or frothed milk hot. It literally just froths it. So you get a foam, but there's no heat to it. And I feel like, I don't know if I'm going to go through that process, I want it to be hot. So enter this. It actually is huge, holds a ton of liquid in there and you can still make cold foam or you can make hot foam and it does steam the like creamer milk as well, which I am so grateful for because let me tell you just that little bit extra like heat to your coffee keeps your coffee hot longer. And I am become quite the iced coffee drinker since becoming a mom. But on the days that I do choose to drink hot coffee, I love having like a hot coffee steamer option with that instant pot frother. That frother retails for $50. I usually see it on a deal for about 45 and it has over 4,500 four star reviews on Amazon. So lots of people like it. A lot of you guys actually told me you really like it and I've been very impressed with it so far. Okay, so this is just bougie and there is literally no reason why you need an acrylic like cat food bowl other than just if you want one. <laughs> but our cats were overdue for one. Theirs were just like old and kind of dingy. I read that it is really good for your animals to have their food bowls raised off of the floor a little bit. It's better for their shoulders because they're not leaning all the way down. So I really like this acrylic one. It comes with two separate bowls. So you can get either two glass bowls or two aluminum bowls. And we actually feel like the glass bowls look like some of our nicer like glass mixing bowls. They are 
fancy feeling, but the whole actual cat food stand itself is 100% acrylic and it comes wrapped very nicely. So you are gonna have to like pull off a wrapping when you get it so you don't have to worry about it being scratched up or anything. Very impressed with the quality of this. And actually the food bowls are pretty large. So our cats feel like they're being served more food, but we're putting the same amount in there. I don't know, Allie's just, Allie's all about the visualization of her food because she is a hunky girl. <laughs> so she really likes the food bowls, which are a big bonus. This retails for $30 and has over 500 four and a half stars reviews on Amazon. And I can say I definitely love these. All right, so you guys know how I've told you my brain's like goo and I'm struggling to get through this video and I'm stammering. Yeah, I threw away the screws for this and I literally remember doing it. Like the same day, there was one day I just was in the mood to throw everything away. I, I wrapped up my really nice headphones and threw them in the trash by accident because I wasn't thinking. This little like silverware caddy comes with screws and I remember just throwing them in the garbage and I realized it when it was too late. So don't throw them away and you can actually actually use the handle on this. We are going to have to get screws for this, but this is an acrylic caddy and I love it. I waited for this to come back in stock for so long. So if it is in stock, when you are watching this, grab it because this thing went out of stock forever. It retails for $28 and has over a hundred four star reviews on Amazon, but it's just a little silverware caddy. Put your silverware here and like any like mini plates or like napkins, things like that that you want to fit in here. And actually the girl that I found this on through TikTok, she showed a couple different ways to use it. I'll have to go find her video. I think she even used it in her bathroom as well. Like she put it on, on the back of her toilets. Really cute, kind of universal, but it is a silverware caddy acrylic from Amazon and I love it. Cutting boards. We only have wood cutting boards in our house and I don't know why. They're not the best. Like there are some things that wood cutting boards are fine for, but just not the most practical as far as upkeep and washing them. So I did get this three pack of cutting boards on Amazon because I finally was just over it one day. They are dishwasher safe very easy to clean. They come in three different sizes. They retail for $18 and have over 28,000 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So very high quality, very nice, very durable. And they do have five colors available. So if you don't want to get just like the regular black or gray, you can get like a teal color, red, you know, or even a blue. Okay. Do you need this? No. But do you need this? Yes. All right. It's so ridiculous. I saw this on TikTok and I immediately was like, I don't need that in my home, but I'm going to buy it. It makes your ice cubes into perfect little circles. And I just thought that was super cool. One, because it actually is great if you have a water bottle that has a very thin opening to it and it, you can't put like real ice cubes down in it. This makes like perfect little cylinder ice cubes and so they will fit down in a water bottle. But I think it's just cute and really cool. And one thing you guys actually told me I could do with my iced coffee so that I don't, after I put it in the hyper chiller, if I do still want to add ice, what you can do is actually one day take like older coffee or even brew new coffee, pour that in an ice cube tray and then when you're making at home iced coffee, you just use the um, coffee ice cubes instead of regular ice cubes. So when it does eventually melt, it's still coffee. And I think that's such a cool idea. So whether you use this for water or coffee, I think it's really cool to just have perfect little circles for your ice cubes. And it's so ridiculous. It comes in five colors, retails for $36. And it has three and a half stars on Amazon, but I would say I would give this a full five star because it makes me feel real bougie. <laughs> These double ended high highlighters I actually have in my little pin set. I'm all about the pins and the office supplies, clearly by the sticky notes and scissors in this video. I absolutely love these though, because it is a variety of colors, but the fact that you can do like either the wide tip regular highlighter or a thinner, almost like a marker, that's really nice. I'm all about my to-do list these days. And so that was just a really fun way to kind of spruce up my planner. And if you love pins like I do, highlighters, markers, anything like that, those are great. This to-do list, totally not necessary again, but I love to-do lists. So this is a, you've got this planner. It has a spot up top that says today I'm grateful for the date, what actual day of the week it is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I always get those mixed up too. Um, it has an appointment clock over here, must get done today, a to-do list section, notes and doodles, um, a place where you can put meal plans, health and fitness, and water intake. So very impressed with this. I use this every single day. I actually pulled today's sheet off to film this video. It just helps so much to have it all laid out, especially to have this up here that's like I know these three things have to get done and also this one just to remember any meetings I have appointments videos that have to go live I absolutely love this I have purchased a couple things from the bliss collection store on Amazon and I cannot recommend her enough it is like a small shop and I think she sells just through Amazon I believe could be wrong about that but she has lots of like planners and notepads and stuff this one retails for right over like 1150 and has over 8200 four and a half star reviews on Amazon 
love this one. So I did buy a Fitbit. You guys know I am an avid Apple Watch wearer. I've worn this every day since 2019 when I got it. I love my Apple Watch, but I actually had read a couple articles that it's not the most accurate when it comes to working out. Um, there are a couple different like affordable options out there for bands to wear when you're working out that like kind of tracks calories you burn, heart rate, steps, the whole nine. And I actually just went back to the OG Fitbit. I used to wear Fitbits like I think maybe high school was when I started wearing a Fitbit and I know I wore them in college when I was like a server and a bartender because I always was about getting in my 10k steps. So I did get this one. It is the Fitbit Inspire 2. Retails for $100 on Amazon and has over 57,000 four and a half star reviews and so far I've been very impressed with it just like all my others. I just don't know what happened to my others which is why I bought a new one but I only wear this when I work out just to make sure I'm getting the most accurate info on my workouts. This is super random but I love it. So Sam and I are always those people who take fruit when we go to like always we just show up with fruit watermelon cantaloupe grapes strawberries whatever and it we were always those people who were well one we wait till we get there to cut watermelon but we were always those people who just like didn't have a place to store the fruit very random but we always take it so it's like you know what why don't I just get something to put fruit in so I bought this it's I mean as straightforward as it can possibly be just five little sections in here with one lid retails for $17 and only has like 15 reviews I think on Amazon but I absolutely love this the only thing is when you throw it in the dishwasher it does get water spots all over it which is a little bit annoying I don't think you would probably get those on it if you maybe hand washed it but I don't know that we did hand wash it one time and then put it in the dishwasher every time since then so it does have the water spots just keep that in mind but if you are like us and you like to just take fruit everywhere we go to the lake a lot then that is a great thing to have these are absolutely amazing so I have upped my iced coffee obsession between the little perfectly circular ice cubes and the hyper chiller that I have talked about a lot here on my channel. This is actually a really nice glass cup that I keep smoothies in, shakes, and my iced coffee. I like that this has a lid to it. It does come with four straws and it is a four pack, but I like that this has a lid to it. Now it's not like airtight, watertight, whatever. So you can't flip it over and you know, your liquid won't come falling out. It definitely will, but it is still a fairly sturdy top compared to some of the other ones that I've found on Amazon. The four pack retails for $30 and has over 200 plus, like 250 plus four and a half star reviews. So I do like these again, great for like smoothies, shakes, iced coffee. These are 16 ounces. And like I've said, they come in a four pack. So I like these, but seriously, I think my husband's going to either enter me into Cups Anonymous or disown me somehow because he is so sick of seeing cups show up at this house. <laughs> this has to be one of the coolest travel bags I own from Amazon. What I love about this one, this one does not have a lot. This one only has three reviews on Amazon. It retails for $15. But what I like about this one is when it opens up completely, you can actually remove these with the Velcro on the side. So you're not stuck having to take this entire bag. Like if you're in a hotel room, you don't have to take the entire bag with you every single time. If you want to put just makeup in one, just hair stuff in one, you know, you can grab that when you need it and then throw this back into your bag when you're done with it. So I think that's really, really cool. It also has these little straps on the outside that keep it closed. And these do, um, they are adjustable. So if you do put, you know, a lot of stuff in there, then it can definitely like expand and kind of retract, but very impressive with this so far. Lots of travel stuff I've been ordering because again, we have potentially some trips coming up this fall. Got to nail down some dates and stuff, but a thousand percent will be taking that. And this is for all of you out there who are like five minutes down the road running late and you're going, did I unplug my curling iron? Is the straightener still plugged in? This plugs into your wall and it has a timer on it, which I absolutely love. So you can plug this in. It only has one little spot for like a straightener. I think you can even probably, there's something on here that is for six hours. So I'm assuming that's more for like a crock pot or something, but you can only plug in one thing at a time. So keep that in mind. I do wish it had multiples, but I get why it doesn't. So it has slots for 15, 30 minute, one hour, two hour, four hour, six hour on off and then repeat. So very straightforward. I just love this because I am literally the person who I will unplug my curling iron out of the wall. I will wrap it up. And I've heard if you say to yourself, I am unplugging the curling iron, like it helps you remember, it doesn't help me. No, I'll still go, I am unplugging the curling iron. I'll wrap it up and we'll still be two minutes down the road and I'll be texting my mom like, hey, can you go by my house? I think I might've left my curling iron on. Well, enter this. I no longer have to do that. I'm probably going to have mine constantly set to the 30 minute instead of 15 just in case, but I love this and I probably will still unplug my curling iron, but knowing that I have this makes me feel a lot better. This hat organizer has to be just about the coolest thing ever. So it is only $8. It has over 350 
four and a half star reviews on Amazon and I love this. I actually bought this because both my husband and I have a lot of baseball hats. I only put two of mine on here to show you guys, but this is just a little Velcro strip that you hang over any of your hangers in your closet and it does come with the little clips. It comes like fully assembled. You literally just have to snap it onto a hanger and you can just start clipping your hats to this. It hangs perfectly in the closet. I cannot love something as much as I love this because I hate the way we have our hats currently stored, like our baseball hats. I have my hats that I wear on my like wall here with a command hook, but baseball hats, I was just at a loss for how to organize those. So this thing has been amazing so far. Um, I have to get my husband though, because he also has to go through his hats. I refuse to hang all of my husband's hats until he goes through them and tells me which ones he's getting rid of and which ones he's keeping. So $8, love that Amazon find for organization. And then this I don't have with me, but this has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So actually I thought about this when I was very pregnant. I was that girl who my husband wouldn't let me carry, pick up, or do anything unless it was like three pounds or less. And although like chairs, folding chairs aren't that heavy, we would go places where we would take chairs and he would be like, no, I'll do it. And he would have like all this stuff, you know, all wrapped around him. And I saw someone at a soccer game and they had this chair. And I was like, I need that because it wraps up all into one bag. So it is a double camping chair with a canopy and an ice cooler pack thing in the middle of it. Like, I don't think it comes with the ice pack. I don't know, I don't have it in yet. It actually has this like huge cooler in the center of it that zips up. I think that is so nice, but it's the canopy for me. Like I'm a redhead, I mean, I, the sun is just not my friend. So I like that it's a double chair with the cooler in between, with the canopy, just it's bougie. We're gonna be those parents at the soccer game with our son that a thousand percent show up with like, you know, snacks and drinks and we'll have our fancy little cooler in between us and people are gonna be like oh my god who who are these people and I'll be like yeah you know you're jealous of my Amazon chair <laughs> this water basin is actually retractable so it folds down to be very thin but in it I have my pump parts so I do still have to pump two days a week because my mom keeps Ezra two days a week while I get all of my like content filmed and planned and worked out so that I can devote my time to him for the rest of the week so that's been a big change because she's only been recently keeping him two days a week and he's an exclusively breastfed baby until you know now so I do have a lot more pump stuff a lot more bottles and and I read that it actually isn't sanitary or the most sanitary to put them in your sink. Now we keep our sink very clean, but I do just like the idea of having something that is just dedicated to any pump parts, bottle parts. Also because these little duckbill valves, like these things are so small. So I like that we have this little retractable water basin that we can wash pump parts. It also has a little um, drain in it. So you can just very easily drain the water out after you are done washing everything. You can rinse it off and rinse it in here. So it's just gonna make everything a lot more sterile. This retails for $24 and has over 600 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So I really like it, especially because of how small it gets. But if you are constantly like washing pump parts, um, bottles and stuff like that, just know I've read it's not the most sanitary and something like this is a better option. These visualization cards are about the coolest thing ever. My mom actually got some of these and I saw how much Ezra liked them. So I got some myself too. So they come in a four pack. They have them for zero to three, three to six, six to 12 and 12 to 36 months. It is labeled very, very tiny on the back. So I just wrote on the top of them, you know, what they're for. But these are for currently zero to three months. And so right now all the cards are like black and white and they're these really cool, bright patterns that he can see are really cool, just like stark contrasting patterns. And then on the back, it does have like zoo animals, some fruit, food, random things like that. I think there's like, yeah, clouds. And he actually responds to these which is why I bought them immediately when I saw my mom playing with him with these. She would like show him one and he would like coo or smile to them. And so I think these are super cute. So when he is awake, I do use the visualization cards with him and they change and get like, there are a lot more patterns and more colors as you do get older. I absolutely recommend these. They are $20 on Amazon and they have over 3,600 five-star reviews. All right, so these are kind of a filler for the time being. So we introduced a bottle to Ezra, I believe within his first week of life because one, I did know I wanted to be able to give someone a bottle for him if they were watching him and be able to go like Sam and I have been able to go on dates and not be super
super stressed about getting home at a certain time because he takes a bottle even though he is like if he's with me he's exclusively breastfed but he used the one bottles from advent for so long and he did so well with them um, again like from his first week of life we introduced that bottle to make sure he got used to it and he did great well so now he is almost 11 weeks old and he definitely is in his transition time he needs to be done with the one bottles but when we moved up to the two nipple in the advent bottles it just it was too much it's he can definitely drink from them but he has to work a lot harder and he gets really frustrated so we feel like we needed like a 1.5 well they didn't make that in the nipple size so we actually heard great things about these tommy tippy bottles and he does so good with these so this is the nine ounce tommy tippy bottle with a slow flow not the extra slow flow but i do really like these the biggest thing i think especially the transition from the one to the two with advent similar to this this is a lot bigger here like the one bottle the one nipple on that advent bottle is just so small and i think this is a lot easier for him to take so for the time being i only have a four pack of these he will use these and then eventually we will go back to advent i have a lot of like glass advent bottles he does great with all pacifiers all bottles that we've given him but we do just have a lot of advent so for the time being until he gets fully to being able to use that two nipple when he's with my mom tommy tippy it is i know it's kind of contradictory like he is exclusively breastfed when he's with me but you know i i think it's still important to make sure he takes a bottle so that he doesn't always have to be with me to eat that four pack retails for $32 and has over 6,400 four and a half star reviews on Amazon. So this little mirror here is really cool. So Ezra loves his play mat. It has a mirror on it, but the mirror on it is kind of at a weird angle. So I actually bought this one off of Amazon because it also has these like very playful and colorful like sensory crinkle pages to it. It does say in the description that it is like a Montessori toy. I don't quite know what the Montessori definition is I from what I gather it's just more or less anything that fosters independence so I don't know if this is like truly a Montessori toy maybe one of you guys who knows a little bit better can explain it but from what I found it just is like anything that fosters independence and I don't really know if this truly fosters independence but it is a really nice thing to have for your baby especially because now that Ezra can see a lot farther and he can see his reflection he is all about a good mirror so I like that I can just prop this one up on his play mat and he can sit there and like look at himself that baby is so close to holding his head up on his own it's gonna happen any day now and then last one best one this is hands down the best baby product like when I tell you baby number two I know the like top 10 things I will need for the next one it will 1000% be this so we have started going through our nap refusal phase and this thing puts him out in seconds like I literally will zip him up in this and usually by the time I pick him up he is out this is heavenly and a lot of you guys actually said that this is great they look like little astronauts which first of all is really cute but a lot of you guys have said this is great for a transition from a bassinet to a crib and so he actually is still in his bassinet with me I plan on keeping him in his bassinet for I mean about six months roughly he sleeps through the night so it doesn't really bother me that he sleeps beside us that's just what our pediatrician recommended she said we can talk about the transition at like four to five months but I'm thinking we're gonna go full six so I do have this more for nap time but I do have the one for six months as well so this this does say it is for three to six months or 12 to 18 pounds. The pediatrician said she goes by weight with things like that. So although he is not at the three month mark, he is already over that 12 pound mark. So he is good to use this. And they do have different colors. Like they have a yellow, I think they have a pink, a blue, but I don't believe they have a zero to three month. I think the earliest you can get the Merlin sleep suit is three to six, just because it is, I don't want to use the word weighted because I don't think that's what it is, but it's very thick. And I just don't know if that's best for a newborn baby, but definitely check with your pediatrician before introducing any new products especially sleep products but she said for us because it's you know he's already at that 12 pound mark although he's not three months old he's good to use it and it makes him nap we are so thankful for that all right guys i stuttered and stammered and like struggled through this video but we are finally done thank you guys so much for watching don't forget go below click the subscribe button if you're new here everything is going to be linked in the description bar love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video